that information today. Who's ever been taught to run? A difficult response. Who's ever had a swim lesson? Okay. Golf lesson? Tennis? Basketball? Soccer? Somebody to talk to? So what separates running from all those other things? They're all sports, right? Quickly run for all those things. Most things you want to do, uh, most things, most sports, skills, right? You teach technique. So you're not going to jump in the water and go, well, you're just a natural swimmer. There's maybe one or two people in the world that just naturally know how to swim. Even Michael Phelps has to learn, had to learn how to swim at some point in his uh, class. Let's all go out here. Make sure your shoes are nice and clean at the bottom. Here, David is explaining that the sole of the shoe should be soft. So loud. So, here's what I want you to do. Don't hurt yourself, but I want you to jump up about that high in the air, lock your knees in the air, and land on your heels. Now, what did you, how did that feel? So what's absorbing that shock? The shoe. The shoe. So if you're going to run like that, you probably do need to undo our shoe because that's the only thing that's protecting from the ground, right? So basically you are beating the shoe to death. You know, they say you've got to replace them every 300 miles, you're wearing out the midsole, you know, and losing its ability to absorb shock, well, you're beating it to death. So what's the problem? That's the only thing protecting you. Now this time, everybody, do this right here. I do a little jump. Look how much wider that was. Now, what hurt that time when you did that? Hopefully nothing. If you hurt something, you got some problems on that. How many joints absorb this? Zero joints. Okay. Count the joints absorbed in this. Ankle, knee, hip. That's three, right? Guess what? kind of made to run that way, right? You put a big thing on your foot, this does not hurt. How many of you have ran out like this on the barefoot lap? It's too painful to do, right? So most of you think it's short. Or what it like, a little shorter. Keep your feet under you a little more, kind of a little dainty-like, you know? That's because you you're kind of protecting your feet, right? So shoes take that away. They take away pain and what we call proprioception. So you can't feel anything. Nothing with a thin shoe or barefoot. You can feel the ground. You can interact with the ground. You know what's going on. Big, thick shoes. It hey, doesn't hurt. It doesn't hurt to land your heel, but what starts hurting eventually? Knees start hurting. Hips start hurting. You drive back pain. Your shoulder pain. Your neck pain. Because all this has got to go somewhere, right? What's another good thing about this action? What do the muscles do?
that all balance thing can happen. Keep moving, keep moving back, right? Now, is that muscular or is that gravitation? Thank you. 
say that louder for a while. What's some other things going on right now? Thank you. Do you pay for that physically? Or is that free? Something God gave us, right? Right? That's a gift from God. Every reaction, equal amount of reaction. Never ends. Never changes. It's always there. Elasticity. If you got muscles, most of us do. We're here. Uh, if you're apparently healthy, you've got elastic, just like this ball, in your muscles. Stored energy in your muscles. The Achilles tendon. Why do you think it's so big? Maybe it's great. It stores a lot of elastic energy and rebounds it, right? Which it can't work right if it's doing this, correct? It has to have that hinge at the ball of the foot. You guys catch on the drift here? The elastic back up, right? So when you take those joints out, you don't get that. You lose it. And you get hurt. Okay. So ground action force, muscular thing. Okay, so basketball. One thing we do with, with pose, pose running is a high cadence. Because what happens with a high cadence? Usually it's 180 steps a minute. And I got a metronome. We'll show you that in a minute. That's where all these things start coming into play. Now you can't bounce a basketball. You can only bounce it slow, slowly, correct? Otherwise, you can't bounce it like this, right? It's got to be a minimum speed you bounce it, right? Right? I can't really do it any slower than that. So a really good rhythm is this. This is a good mix between elasticity, ground reaction force, right? So that's why we need that higher cadence to have all those things work. What if you try to slow it down? What happens? How long did I wait? Hardly any time at all, right? But it didn't come back up. Even a little delay lose it all. You lose the elasticity, you lose the ground reaction force, okay? The so big thing we have from runners that run a lot is they take these big, long strides. Dave, you got such long legs, you got that long stride. I don't even know what that means. So it's very inefficient, very damaging. This is much more efficient. See that? Is this harder? It's slower, right? Or is this Quicker, right? You guys see the that's my physics little day right there, okay? <laughs> see the difference there, right? Okay. Somebody can sit on that thing. Um so what I want you to do is get your partner to come back, I'm sorry. So what the pose is hang on, let me get this part. Everybody run everybody on the planet Earth who goes through the pose. Here's the pose. Knee soft, let's all try this. Bring your foot up. Weight still on the ball of the foot. Notice how you're all like, okay? It's the falling position. Any kind of locomotion goes through this action. Because you all go right this. Even if you're heel strike, where can you go? Everybody get in the heel strike position. Without shifting your weight, pick up your back foot. Which direction do you go? And you're trying to go which way? But your body physics is telling you to go that way, right? Okay. Now in the pose movement, I mean, it's just, you're ready to go. So, you have to fall on earth to move the direction you want to go. So even with heel strike, what are you doing when you do this? This is you, right? There's your support. Gravity works in a straight line, up and down. Doesn't work, am I doing too much to your Never works at an angle, right? So you got to catch up with that spot on the ground, right? Okay. So once you're there, you're just kind of waiting to catch up with your foot. Once you're there, you start falling again, and then you can take another step. Now, if you're heel striking, you just mess up again. you got to wait to catch up, right? Okay. I know it's you're getting bored of this, but gravity always works in a straight line, okay? Let me borrow you one more time. So this push off, there's no such thing as pushing off and running. It does not exist. It can't happen. Not on earth anyway. So what don't you do? Get in the running pants. Fall on there. Oh, I got you. Okay, do it again. When I let go, I'm not going to drop it. When I let go,
kill jump. Now how do you jump? Okay, this time I want you to push like you're running. Let go. 